Okay guys, we're back on the CNC Olds heads. We had uh, quite a bunch of different things we had to take care of just to make our flows and stuff more accurate. They are not perfect. The guides were in rough shape. They're still in rough shape, so I had to do uh, the best I could on the valve job. The valve job's nothing special. And... Uh, Unfortunately, I did have to do a little bit of blending with the body filler. Um, I've never worked with body filler before. It's real delicate. Uh, in fact, if a bird hits it, it just eats, eats it right up. Uh, so it has to be sand rolled. And of course, I don't have a protector valve this size. So it was uh, a lot of work. As far as our liquid flow, I did work on spreading us out. We did not have this last time. Now, did I spray a little extra blue? It's possible. I try to be, I try to spray the same each time, but you never know. But it is certainly interesting the way it, it starts at the roof, right? It goes right to the roof. Does the curve just like a small block, just like a small block Ford would, right? And then out. I kind of like it. Now, it did improve because we do have blue all the way over to here now. We didn't have that before. And the bore certainly looks like I sprayed a little more than usual, which is possible. But we've got blue quite a bit back. We got a nice hit there and we got some splatter action. So, not only did I do a valve job, but I had to redo the back cut on this valve because it was the 45 was way wide okay so I had to shrink that a little bit which is going to change our flows and it's going to change our our liquid a little bit okay now before you say oh Charlie did a lot of work to that I really didn't all I did is I took some of the lumps and bumps and CNC lines out of it you can still see there's a, a hole that's filled with body filler um, I didn't want to take that all the way out because of the air speeds. That probably really needs to be filled, but we'll get to that later. Uh, yeah, I did finesse a little bit of it, but uh, anything that has body filler, I really couldn't touch. If I did have to touch any body filler, I went over with a sand roll. But as far as down its throat, uh, I'm going to say it's a win from where we were. And remember, it's not all airflow, guys. If we have wet boards with fuel in it, how we handle that fuel is super important to making power. Okay, believe it or not, I did do a little bit of work to the short side radius because the speed differential was just ridiculous. And I did take a, a few thousandths of material off to try to get the short side closer to the speeds I think it should be. And now we do have uh, we do have some blue on the short side, and you can see we've got some down that wall. Okay, we'll take a look at it from this angle. We'll try it with the light in a little bit different position, see if it looks any better. I mean, considering what it is. I think it's working pretty well, considering all I did is, you know, a, basically a clean up and change just a little bit here and there. Okay, the exhaust, you can see I, I had to redo the valve job, and uh, it seemed that he said something about the valve job got ruined when he was sanding the body filler, which makes perfect sense because they were... They were out, out of whack quite a bit. That's one of the reasons I had so much leakage. I still have a little bit of leakage, but I think that may be due to me not having a head gasket. I may cover this with uh, duct tape so I get a complete seal. And it does still want to pull the intake valve open, which is an interesting thing that I've never had before. But yeah, you can see put the radius, and then I went over it with a cartridge roll because... 
we know that if we leave that barrel, we lose a few CFM. And uh, the throat itself has not been changed on either of these. If you take a look it, on the intake, it's just been it's just been uh, the valve job, and then I did a bit of a radius in the throat, but I didn't take any material out of the throat. Okay, the exhaust, I did the same thing. I took some of the marks and lumps and bumps out. And uh, I did do a little bit of changing of the port according to what I saw as far as air speeds. But only... How should I say that? Only around this area, the shiny area. Okay, the rest of it is all body filler. And that I had to just... I just tagged it within a cartridge roll, and you can see there's some highs and low spots around it. But he did a really good job on that, and that really doesn't need me to do any work to it. Okay, Olds has a bolt hole right on this wall, so I didn't touch this wall because it was already relatively thin. You can see I could just, just touched it a little bit with the, the cartridge roll. I think I forgot about the the floor completely. You can see I did. Completely forgot about the... I don't know what it is with floors lately on exhaust. I have a blind spot to them, I guess. Okay. This view of the exhaust, I did have to work on that guide quite a bit because it was... it's quite chunky and uh, could use some work. That's what it looks like out of the CNC. We could fix that up a little bit and I spent a little time on that. The rest of it is lumps and bumps and a radius and a valve job. Okay, now did it help? Well, let's take a look. Okay, I see a spot that I forgot here. I forgot to work on blending this in on this whole side, the lower cut into the throat, and uh, I guarantee that hurt us. So, remember, originally was basically a radius it was a radius, and it wasn't even straight because I couldn't get the valve to seal. So the flows you guys are going to see have much less leakage. They're not perfect. I still have, I still have to, uh, I think, put tape on this so I have a better seal. But they're much closer to being accurate than they were. Okay, anyone would know that our .05 is too high. It was too high before. It's still too high. But I'm willing to bet this is flowing better than that leaky one. Okay. So, how do we do as far as plus and minuses? We got minuses everywhere. This is a more accurate curve, right? 300, at 300, we've got 226. It's still a pretty decent number. Considering I forgot that whole part of that uh, blending that third cut, I'm surprised it's as good as it is. Okay, 500, 316, 600, 344 and change. And it tops out 385 where it was 393. Okay, so you have to take out, remove our leakage out of this equation. And uh, they'll be a lot closer. As far as our air speeds, okay, plus, plus, minus, more even than they were. All right, center of the cylinder. Plus, plus, much better. Okay? I'd rather have more, more speed on the roof. Okay? And as far as your short side radius, minus, minus, more on the wall that was low because I did a little bit of work to this area and it came up a bit. So... Okay. Um, let's take a look at our exhaust. Okay, same deal with the exhausts. These leaked quite a bit. These leak, but not as much. So take that into consideration. Minus, 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 plus, 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 right in the middle. Minus, minus, but only a tiny bit down. Plus, plus. Okay, at 600, we're 271.8, 272. Now remove your leakage from that. But check out what happened with the pipe. It went almost 300 with a pipe on it. 
Now you have to use a two inch pipe because it's a big exhaust port. But still, if you take a look, you know what? Let's take a look at our, our air speeds. Equal, minus, plus, right? This was really low. That corner was really low. The center here, plus, plus, minus. Minus, plus, minus. It doesn't look like that big a difference, but there's more pluses than minuses, and we top out better. Now... Let me think of something. Okay, I have. Uh, I, I was going to take the the burr texture out of this and see if it made a difference. I don't know what I'm going to do with that yet. I'm going to think about it. All right. As far as throat ratios, looks like 86% on the exhaust. Which the exhaust is working pretty well. The intake is 91%, which is a, a little big, but I think after I fix that uh, screw-up I have on that lower cut, that'll be better. Uh, I may take a look at, at our air speeds. Right? I would like to get these a little more even, but we did really well with the fuel, so I have to have a, another conversation with the owner of these. And uh, give me some input, guys. See if uh, you see something that I don't could use some work. In any case, thanks for hanging out, guys. Have a great night. Thanks.